Hello fragrance lovers, I have another unboxing today and this is a perfume that I bought in December, at the beginning of December, but it's taken a long time to get to me, but better late than never. I gotta say, I bought this from a studio and it's Angel Muse. By Mugla. I've heard so much about this perfume. I tried it at Debenhams uh, back when Debenhams was still open and I thought I could I could definitely get this so I shopped around online and I found this but let's have a look at it. The box is amazing. It's got these little stars angel muse so this is supposed to be a beast of a perfume oh no I just checked my nail there there we go oh wow <laughs> oh my days oh comes with a little join the circle Okay, there's a little letter thing, but look at that. What a beautiful looking bottle. Okay, let's see what you smell like. I can't believe I finally have my hands on this. Uh, this was something that I've waited nearly five weeks to get, and now it's finally here. The top notes are supposed to be pink pepper grapefruit. Middle notes is supposed to be hazelnut cocoa spread. So I'm kind of expecting some Nutella. And the base notes are patchouli and vetiver. So I expect that the vetiver is going to give it some dryness. But let's see top is really rather fancy okay there we go oh wow mm -mm, did a cacao bomb go off just gonna spray a little bit on paper just a little bit because I've heard that this is a very strong perfume so Oh my days. Wow. Okay, so I can't say that I'm getting the Nutella uh, straight away or the chocolate hazelnut. It's got a slight powderiness right off the top, but it definitely has got a pow um, sense to it when I smell it. I'm getting some... Freshness as well. It's a sweet kind of freshness. Definitely feels like this is a sweet perfume. And I cannot wait to try it on my skin. So, yeah, I think that this might have been very well worth all of the hype that has come around it. It's supposed to be a long lasting fragrance as well, which is why I also bought it. I have five kids. Despite the fact that I love the perfumes, I don't necessarily have time to stop and reapply the perfume. I want something that will last um, on me. And this looks like it's going to be a winner. Uh, one thing that I don't like about it already is it, it doesn't stand, uh, it doesn't sit uh, straight because obviously it's shaped like a, a little weird alien pod, which means that, you know, it doesn't stand. So that's my initial reservation for it but I guess that's a simple thing that can be easily dealt with by uh, decanting into a bottle that stands but yeah it's a uh, quite a good one definitely a winter perfume I think I'm not being transported to summer with this this is making me feel happy that I am in winter which is my own personal way of distinguishing between what I consider to be a spring summer fragrance and a winter fragrance if the fragrance makes me 
feel like I'm in summer, even though we're in the middle of winter, then for me, it's a spring summer. But if it's something that makes me feel happy that we're in a cold time, then for me, it's a winter uh, fragrance. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with some more perfume madness. Bye.